Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And a question that came today, because we were talking about Chromium, and we talk about Chromium regularly. Um, Chromium is the basic code for many browsers. And the question that came is, well, it's owned by Google, so isn't Google deciding what these browsers are going to do? And, and of course, in, in, in this case, one of the things that you said is, well, isn't Google snooping through other browsers then because it's by Google or Google maintained? And here's the thing about this. Uh, the reason why um, it ain't happening is because of the nature of the code. So when you use Google Chrome, yes, absolutely. Uh, Google through here can do what it wants and snoop in ways that it wants because that's the full browser that they actually make. But there's one thing here that is uh, different from um, other code. Chromium is open source. Open source means that if you want and know what you're doing, you have access to the full code, the full basic blocks of how each browser uh, works because that code is not secret. It's in the open. And anybody can use it. Anybody can examine how it's constructed, how it was made. So you also could see what they're doing with the code. And the open source Chromium project, even though under Google, is a independent thing. It's actually a basic blocks for a browser. But if you want to do things and you want to do more, then that's each company to do so. So, for example, Google Chrome will have its layer and have its own ways of doing whatever it wants. Like Microsoft Edge has its own layer and does whatever it wants. If the Chromium project base was a problem in terms of snooping by Google or security or privacy, there's a lot of browsers that wouldn't use it. An example of a browser that's using it and has no problem in maintaining your privacy, Brave. Uh, some people use Brave. Well, it is Chromium. It is under technically the supervision of Google, but it's an open source. The Brave team can examine the code and see where it can actually remove a feature or remove something that they don't want to have because it might snoop on you. So that's why there's no problem in using the same code of Chromium for, uh, even though it's uh, an item that a lot of you might think, well, you know, it's a Google thing, so it can't be private. It can be, no, no, it, it, it's surprising how um, that project is really totally separate and once again, the example that I have is that's why even the browsers that pop up that want to give you the most private experience, the most secure experience, use a Chromium base. They have no problem with that because they can examine the code and they know what the code does. So if something is not right, they can change it. Um, an open source project, you change the code the way you want. Uh, you just put the top layer on top that makes the browser look how it is, but that's it. So that's why it's not a problem. And that's why um, so many, you know, if there was privacy concerns in that code, we would still have, we would maybe even have more browsers that have their own engine, their own code, uh, totally separate from uh, the open source Chromium project. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.